G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now as you can see here, I've got the UDIRC, the 1202 Truggy out again. Now I reviewed this a couple of weeks ago, and what this is, is a new release from UDIRC. It's their new 12 scale series of trucks. Well, this is a Truggy, you can get a monster truck version as well. Now this is a brushed 550 powered truck, and uh, it performed pretty decent. It was rather on the slow side, it can only do around 35 k's an hour. They've actually put that on their listing. So they're not trying to hide anything from anyone. It does weigh a fair bit, guys. It's got a weight of two kilograms because of all the metal parts. Okay, it's all <laughs> decked out with metal everywhere. So anyway, um, the other day, I actually stripped it down, took the brushed uh, gear out of it and converted it to brushless. So that's what I'm gonna do today. We're gonna have a bit of fun with it uh, with the brushless setup that I've got on here. Now I've got a 120 amp ESC. Uh, it's 4S capable. I've been using these ESCs for a while now on some of my speed cars. Now it's got a pretty conservative KV motor in there. It's not a high KV uh, at all. It's a 3650 can. Uh, I believe it's a 2746 KV. Uh, so it should be pretty happy to run on 4S without overheating. Now there's something that I want you guys to know about this truck uh, as I stripped it apart. Now when I uh, actually pulled this car apart, um, I took the motor out which is rear mounted over here in the center. Uh, and then I actually thought I'll have a quick look at the rear diff. When I opened up the diff casing, I did notice there's a couple of teeth that were damaged on the actual diff itself, as well as the little uh, input shaft gear from the center drive shaft that actually runs off the crown uh, gear on the diff. Now the reason for that, which I did find out by just looking at the, the truck itself, I actually put a clip of the front diff, but the rear diff was the same. You can see that there's a lot of slop, okay, and play, because uh, the reason for that is that UDIRC did not shim these diffs from factory. So what I've done is I've shimmed them myself even though this rear diff is damaged, as well as that little uh, input shaft gear, or diff pinion, I think some people call it. Um, now that I've actually shimmed both diffs, uh, there's no play in it at all, like you could see in that little clip there. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna email UDIRC and tell them that they better start, you know, putting some shims in their diffs because uh, I think that damage wouldn't have happened uh, if they were shimmed because they're nice and tight now on the front and the rear because I've done it myself So, so anyway, I thought I'll um, let you guys know especially for those that have already bought and purchased this truck Maybe you've already got it uh, This applies to the monster truck version as well because it's exactly the same as the truggy except the body shell uh, My advice would be to shim the diffs before you even take it out because like I said I only reviewed this two weeks ago and I didn't see any problems at all. There was no crunching noises or anything like that during my review. It wasn't until I opened it up, guys, that uh, I saw the broken teeth in the rear diff. So anyway, enough of that. I'm going to reach out to UDIRC, let them know of their issue. And also, I'm going to mention to them why they haven't made parts available for this truck yet. I'm going to let them know about that to make, you know, replacement parts available. So anyway, guys, I've got a 3S in here. Okay, just a single small 3S. You can put two batteries on this one. If you watch my review, it's got a double battery bay. So we're gonna uh, start off with this little 3S. I'm gonna give it a bit of a speed test here, see how fast it will go. And then um, I'm gonna put a 4S in it. And we'll see how fast it can go on this field here. All right, so uh, hopefully it doesn't rain on me. We can have a bit of fun with this and I'll take it on my ramp and bash it around. All right guys, well, Probably you guys already noticed that I've got the tires reversed, the tread. I've done that on purpose, guys, just to maybe try to get a bit more grip on this field. So let's see, we've got it all zeroed out. We've got a 3S in there. Okay, let's see how it goes on this 3S brushless. Definitely pulls wheelies now. <laughs> On the brushed one, it was a little bit uh, lacking in speed and power. So we'll see how it holds up anyway, guys. Even though it has got a broken 
diff or a couple of broken teeth it is now shimmed and lined up properly where the diff can't uh, move around which I am very disappointed about seeing that when I uh, pulled it apart so UDIRC I hope you're watching this video make sure you shim your diffs it's not going to cost you much okay let's see what we got like I said it's a fairly low KV motor just under 3000 and we got 57 kilometers an hour guys big improvement of the 35 K's or thereabouts that I got with it stock as uh, when it was brushed so not bad and it's only a small little uh, lipo there so with a high capacity lipo you probably get close to 60 okay guys I fitted my HRB 2200 milliamp hour 50c 4s in there it's uh, strapped in with some velcro straps let's make sure it doesn't fly out so we'll get rid of that 57 And we'll see what it gets on 4S. <laughs> it's just going to pop wheelies all day long, providing that it, it lasts. <laughs> Can't really get the power to the ground that, that well. There we go. That's full throttle. Popping wheelies at the end there. <laughs> Whoa, on the back wheel there guys. And the GPS is still on there. Now I don't know how long this truck's going to last with that, uh, you know, partially broken diff, but it uh, seems to be holding up. We've got 75 k's an hour guys on uh, 4S there. It's pretty awesome. Alright, so there you go. 75 k's an hour, put that in miles per hour. Okay guys, well I'm going to take the GPS speed reader off. Just have some fun with it now uh, on this field and uh, I'll bring out the ramp and see how it jumps. It did jump pretty decent when it was brushed but obviously it was underpowered only being able to do around 35 k's an hour. We've easily doubled that plus some with the 4S now so as you can see it pops wheelies not a problem at all it's quite fun. So I might get the ramp out now and uh, we'll have a bit of fun on the ramp see how long this uh, truck will last the way it is anyway let's just have a bit of fun with it i can hear some noises coming from this thing now <laughs> whoa <laughs> yeah she's not gonna last that long i don't think Do an easy backflip. You know, it's a shame. That damage would not have happened if UDIRC just took a bit of time to shim the diffs. You know? It's still going. But how, how long? You can hear a bit of noise coming from there, but no. Oh. Just run it till it dies. Okay, guys, I just had to stop to uh, tighten up a couple of wheel nuts that were coming loose. And uh, yeah, by the sounds of it now, I don't think it's gonna last that long. 
But anyway, it is what it is. Just want to have a bit of fun with it on brushless. While I can. <laughs> Full throttle, oh, nearly two backflips. Still running. It's definitely got pretty decent power on 4S, especially with a fairly low 2700 kV motor. Thought I'll try front flip. <laughs> that was a total fail. You still pop wheelies? Nah. The front uh, tires are ballooning up, but the rear ones aren't. So I think that diff is totaled on the rear. Yeah, double back flip. Yeah, I think the rear diff is totally gone. So we've got front wheel drive. Now we've got drive. Bent uh, dog bones on the rear. Body mangled up on the back. Oh, we only got two body clips holding it down. <laughs> oh, throttle. Try to land a jump. Do a couple of smaller jumps. It's still got power. Oh, it's pretty durable. Ah, missed it. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's only front wheel drive for sure. Front wheels are spinning only on takeoff. All right. I think I'll leave it there, guys. Got some of the stuff moving around here now. My receiver, this lighting module is getting stuck. But uh, let's have a look underneath. I want to see if the battery shifted. No, the battery's still in there. Okay. Motor's getting pretty warm now. Yeah, this motor's getting pretty warm, even though it's got a heat sink. But anyway, guys. Little bit of damage on the rear. I mean, it's already damaged anyway because of the diffs. But uh, I did sh the shimming them up did seem to help. Um, we've got a bent dog bone there on the back. Fronts are alright. So uh, anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. Had a bit of fun with it. Uh, it seems like the diff has blown on the back totally. Even this uh, look, this tire's coming loose. So lucky I quit, otherwise I would have lost a wheel nut and a wheel. <laughs> but anyway guys, thought I'd just have a bit of fun with it, you know. Brought it out today on brushless. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm a bit disappointed with UDI RC not shimming those diffs. So I'm definitely going to let them know about that. If you've already bought these uh, trucks, okay, they are a new release. They've only been out for, I don't know, maybe a month at the most. Um, yeah, if you own one of these trucks, make sure you shim the diffs before you take them out. That way you won't have any problems like what I did. So, yeah, overall pretty durable truck. You can take a bashing, that's for sure. Uh, the back, you know, the, <laughs> the shell's a bit mangled up, but that's to be expected after all the uh, hard hits that it took. But, uh, 
Yeah, on 4S she managed a couple of double backflips and uh, can pop wheelies all day long as long as you got some decent diffs. So, pays on 4S, 59 I think it was on 3S, not bad indeed. So, so hey guys, I just thought I'll take it for a bit of a hard bash today since I uh, you know, converted brushless and try to repair it the best I can. It seemed to be pretty durable. All we had was a, a slightly bent dog bone on the rear there. And, uh, you know, obviously the diff is a bit worse for wear now, but uh, that was to be expected because it was already half broken in the first place. But, yeah, pretty fun little basher, that's for sure. It's uh, definitely durable. Um, it can take a good hit, especially, you know, it's all braced underneath and we've got all the metal parts and it's got some decent weight to it. It's a two kilogram truck. So, um, yeah. Thanks very much for watching guys. If you like the video, give us a good old thumbs up. Sure to appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be informed every time I drop a new video. And I'll catch you on the next one guys.